But they wish and 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 on me. Yeah. Okay, hey y'all. So today I am, this shirt is huge. You see it's super baggy. But today, um, today I get my vlogging camera. Right now I am on my cell phone. So I'm gonna do an unbox me video for whatever camera I get today. Um, but I was bored. You can see my hair. I wasn't going to take these out, y'all. Honestly, I was going to wait till tomorrow. But I might take them out. But then I don't know. I think I'm going to take out one of them to see how it looks. And I'm going to leave them in until tomorrow. <sighs> so, let's see. I'm going to unravel it. The curl looks really cute. But first, I'm going to put some oil on my hands. Uh, I'm about out. Because I've been, since I took, take, ugh, I can't talk. <laughs> since I've taken my hair out, like my ponytail from graduation, I've been doing my natural hair more than usual. And my, I washed my hair yesterday while I co-washed it, and I think it's still kind of dirty. But... To be honest, I wasn't about to rewash my hair. So I'm going to use this Tahila Talia Wajid Shea Cocoa Minoy Oil. I really love this oil. It's the best oil to me. I'm going to just use one drop for my one. Oh, by the way, I did braiding curls. So I just braided my hair down, put a perm rod on it, and rolled it up. But I, I didn't braid all the way. I didn't braid all the way down. I just braided to like a quarter inch before when my hair is gonna um stop it. So yeah, I'm gonna take wait. You know I don't really like braid outs. <laughs> this is like my second braid out in life since I've been doing natural stuff to my hair. So I'm just gonna do it like this. You guys can't really see because my camera, I'm on my phone. So today I have an SD card, but today I'm gonna get my camera and I'm also going to go ahead and buy a tripod. And this is what they look like. I don't know if I really like them. I mean, they're kind of cute because they have a, they, it's like the way I did my hair. As you can see, it's like a little, I have like a little bang type. So when they fall, they're going to go further. But I'm probably just going to recurl it up. I just want to see how it looked. It looks nice. My hair looks pretty clean, but so this is what I did. I took three strands and then I cross over. I do the natural braid. So. Let me start until I'm a little low. So yeah, I did the natural braid. I make sure that my braid, actually, I got too much hair. I got too less of hair in one of these. But I make sure my braid, when I braid my, when I do braid my hair, I make sure that the braid is in the middle so that like it's even. That way I won't do too much. So yeah, I just braid all the way to a quarter inch down. Cause I braid the way I want my curl one to fall like a bang. So this is how far am I? Can you see me? Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. So once I stop right here, I take the perm rod, put it on the end. 
I, I curl right here and I fold. So I curl, I fold, I roll. Once I do that, I twist, then I curl again, and then I clamp. And make sure you clamp from this end to this end where it's covering the hair so that it won't um so that it won't mess up the curl because if it's the other way then your hair is gonna flip out like you see how this one is it's flipped out but i'm not gonna fix it it's on the curl but it's flipped out but all the other ones aren't like that like every if you see all my other ones they're on they're turned the right way but it's just this one that's flipped out Maybe I should fix it. Okay. Oh, that's cute. That curl's cute. I hate when my curls curl up, but that's what I'm saying. It's gonna curl up instead of down. So, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna leave it. It'll kinda dry. Put some mousse on it. So, this is the mousse that I use for my hair. It's Cream of Nature Argan Oil Mousse. So, for the end, I use about that much. But if I was doing my whole hair at the end, like last night, then I would just put a lot. So, you go from the end, you roll, then you twist, and you roll again. And then you make sure you cover your hair with the perm rod. Yay, it worked. I probably should do that last night, but whatever. So, I'm technically already dressed. This is like my outfit of the day, really. Um, I have on slippers. Right now, y'all, I'm trying to find somewhere to stick um, my phone. Because I'm about to wash my face. This day is, but I'm about to. But I'm about to wash my hair. I have my perm rods. Oh, and also my hair is sticking up right here. You can't see it. So I had this bobby pin. And I had it right here. So that I could hold my hair down. Here we go. I actually messed up this braid. Like the braid is crooked. But I don't feel like fixing it. There's a lot of braids that are crooked halfway going down my head. I want to rebraid this one because uh, it's kind of high. Or I want to hold it down. I have body pins, but whatever, yeah. So after this, I think I'm gonna go to Smoothie King. I've been craving a smoothie for like a whole week and I haven't gotten one. So I'm gonna go to Smoothie King. I should've went Friday on $5 Friday, but even when I go to $5 Fridays to get a 32 ounce smoothie, I still don't get a 32 ounce smoothie. So. I think I'm gonna go. Don't y'all hate when y'all wash y'all hair, do y'all hair, and y'all have products on your ear? I do. But if you leave it up there, that just means you don't wash your ear. But I had already took a shower afterwards. I mean, before that, I wasn't thinking about this product on my ear, but I got it off now. So it usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to wash my face and hairline. Where are the pictures?
been vlogging for 14 minutes. But yeah. So before this, I was just daydreaming and like watching YouTube videos and vlogs. And I see the whole conversation going on about how YouTube is affecting small YouTubers. Honestly, it's just YouTube doing their job. They can't, it's it's not really affecting small YouTubers, but then again to a small YouTuber, it's not me, but other small YouTubers, it probably is because they're like, okay, I thought this was that easy. I can make YouTube videos and make money, but YouTube is making it now where you have to actually work for what you want. Like before I started really getting into vlogging, like or being wanting to be a YouTuber. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, but I just never, you know, like, well, basically I was busy. So I felt like I was too busy to do YouTube. But now I have a lot of spare time. I don't really have nothing to do but sit around. So YouTube has been something that I've always wanted to do. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna try it for real this time. So probably three, four months ago, that's when I started my channel, built my channel. Cause I've already, I've always had a channel for like a year or two, but I didn't put anything up there. I just like got approved for monetization. I just, I never made YouTube videos or vlogs or anything. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do it, but never really intended to do it. So now it's something that I know I wanna do, but if you really want to do it, then you have to put in the effort of doing it instead of wanting to just do it for money because if you do it just for money you're not going to really want to do it you're not going to have a passion so you're going to throw anything up there any just anything up there that you think will get you views that will get you money but at the end of the day are you going to have a passion for what you're doing or what you're posting if you don't have a passion for what you're posting and what you're videoing and recording what's the point of you doing youtube just for money I mean, what I'm trying to say is, right now, people are not going to want to put in that effort to get those views and to get those subscribers because they were just doing it for money. But people, just like people have to work every day in the real world to save their money up, and so they have to work hard every day just to save their money up and get what they want. YouTube is the same way. YouTube is making it that way now. You want this YouTube money, so now you have to work hard. They just they're just making rules and regulations. Like at first, I was kind of discouraged, but I'm like, I'm not discouraged anymore because it's something that I know I want to do. Like I want to empower people, not just women, but everybody. I want to have a voice and speak on my behalf and my terms and how I feel about certain things that other people may not speak about. So, you know, people just have to take it one day at a time. There's a lot of people out here that I watch who I know are making YouTube videos for free because YouTube has a new policy. So, but they're still making videos because that's what they like to do. They like doing what they do. They love it. They're not doing it just for the money. The money for them is just a plus. It's not just... Oh, I'm doing it because I want to be famous and I want money. No, they're doing it because they want to have a voice. They want to influence other people. They want to show people on YouTube and their viewers that YouTube is something fun, not something just for money. Like, when before YouTube started making people have to actually work for their views and work for getting paid, YouTube was just YouTube. People could do it and get paid just like that. But now, they want you to work for it. They want you to work hard for it. Because a small YouTuber going out trying to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time views, it's not that easy at all. You have to have, I think, 4,000 hours in watch time now or something like that. But to me, yeah, it's hard. But because, I mean, I'm not out there or anything, like, you know, but... The way you become more populated with your YouTube channel is post more videos, post good content, you know, share your YouTube 
page with a lot of people say hey go watch my youtube channel go check me out so all of this stuff that i'm saying to you guys i guess i is something that i should be doing every day but i've been holding out because i haven't had a camera but i think i'm going to get a camera today so that's a plus that's all i have to say so yeah i'm supposed to be brushing my teeth and i'm not taking my hair down just to go out i think i'm gonna walk around like this <laughs> i really think i am but i don't care y'all see me i really feel like this shit is dark at first these lights in this bathroom were like real bright and now since i got used to it they're not bright at all in there and then this light it just makes everything make too much look. I think it's like that because my camera, my not my camera, but yeah, my phone is dim. So that's why it looks like that to me. So I don't know if I'm gonna go get my camera now or later on, but I kinda wanna go get it now. I think I'm gonna go there before I go to Smoothie King. I don't know what came over me, but I'm really thinking about spending my coins on this camera and this tripod. I should have been bought a tripod, but I don't care. Do y'all like my nails? I don't know if y'all can see it. They're like a nude, a brown nude color. I thought they were the same color as my toes, but my toes are are definitely nude and definitely tan. And my nails are like, uh, this is like a sandy brown. This is like a brown, not sandy brown, it's like a brown sand color. Like the color of the sand outside on the beaches. Yeah. That's what that is. And if y'all think that just because it's, <laughs> I'm not even going to say the time, but it's, yeah, it's pretty late in the afternoon, but I've been lounging around, but at least, um, you know, brushing my teeth. So, there's a lot of people out here who go days without brushing their teeth. So, don't talk about me. So let me tell y'all how good is so good. Like, I've been looking everywhere for a tripod and I got the last tripod. Now, I'm looking for a heater. Would it be a houseware? I don't even know where, well houseware be kitchen stuff, so I don't know. But I'm going to check y'all back out when I get to the house, when I show you guys the unboxing. Okay, so <laughs> I have a bonnet on my head because I told you guys earlier that I wasn't taking it off. So after that, I went to Smoothie King. I went to, went to Smoothie King and got my smoothie, still drinking it. Um, Went to Smoothie King, went to Best Buy, purchased the camera, went straight to Walmart. Well, let me tell y'all. First, I went to Best Buy. After I left, well, first I went to Smoothie King. After I left Smoothie King, I went to Best Buy, purchased a Sony. Um, it wasn't a, it wasn't a power shot. It was Sony DSH X80 digital still camera. So that camera was three. 39 I took it back didn't want it was like I want I came in here because I wanted the Canon so the two previous cameras that I bought were Sony one was a, a different um, version and then one was an, a later version which was last year and the one that I bought last year I actually purchased today but it was way cheaper the last time I bought it it was probably seven hundred dollars 
So I'm trying to figure out why it's so cheap now. But this time I went and got took it back, exchanged it for a Canon. Got a Canon because I was contemplating about it. So now I have what I wanted. So now we're going to start with the unboxing. So I don't know anything about this camera. I just know that I like the quality on it. I like the power zoom that it has. Did I open this upside down? No, yeah. I like the power zoom on it as well as that it has 1080 HD. It has HDMI, it has Bluetooth, and it has Wi-Fi. I like all of that for the price that you get. This is the <coughs> manual. I'm probably not gonna read it, I never do. This is an online photo album ticket. Probably not gonna register for this. Oh, and I also, <laughs> oh, I get to receive up to 10 free gigabytes of storage. I might do that. But um, the last camera, the one that I just took back, it didn't have a battery pack with it. This one has a battery pack right here. This is the battery pack. It tells you if it's on full or charge. This is the one you plug into the wall. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, this is the, wait. Oh, these are the new ones. These are the ones that you can take the battery out. Oh, they changed the model. That's why the other camera's probably cheaper because they didn't have one. So now these you can take out of the camera itself, put the battery in here, and just stick this in the wall. The last camera I had last year, I had to literally charge my camera with the USB. This camera is a lot larger than the um, Sony. And then also, I have to go back Friday and add the um, protection. So I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do uh, $80 for three, up to three years of protection. Cause then by the time the three years is over, I'm probably gonna have another camera. This is the wrist holder for the camera, whatever you call it. And this is the battery. It's so tiny. And this is the Canon. It looks so nice. It's, it's huge, actually. It's way bigger than the Sony. I like it. I love it, actually. See, it has full HD 20.3 megapixels. All right, so let's see how this bad boy looks. Before we get started, you have the camera itself, the battery and the micro SD chip holder that it has, and the um, SD card itself is right here. Is that what it says? That right there. So what you want to do is, I already have one. That was a 16 gigabyte. And the one that I put in my camera is a 64. So what you want to do is you want to put it right there. And then you want to insert the battery where it says face down. And you want to put it in the slot right here. Wait. Working this with one hand and trying to show y'all is like definitely hard. So it goes this way, but you want to, I guess you turn it this way. Close this right here. Why isn't it going down? Okay, hold on, y'all. That part right there was so difficult, so I guess I had it on the wrong side. The first time I said it was right, so I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it on. I got to set in bean time. Okay, I'll be back, y'all. Who's here? <laughs> it focuses by itself. what? I said it focuses by itself. Your nose is super shiny. I'm gonna try to wipe it off. It's not gonna come off. You use some of that oil on my face because I need it. What oil? This is my nose. Oh. My nose shiny. Oh, my face oily? Yeah. It's shiny though, right? Oh. I thought it was. 
So, okay. Did y'all have a chance to decide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, the appetizers first? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do the just for, yeah, and see how salad. Okay. Um, do like ranch, thousand island, blue cheese? I want ranch. I want ranch as well. Ranch and butter. What comes on a salad? Um, cheese, tomatoes, croutons, onions. Cheese, tomatoes, onions, croutons, carrots. Okay, no onions. Tomato, cucumber. No, no, to, no tomatoes or onions or cucumbers on okay. both. On both? Mm -hmm. All right. My hair moving. <laughs> Yes, it is. Look, man. Yeah, it is. I got bounced to it. Today? Because <laughs> I didn't put so much product on my hair. Yeah, I mean, no, you need all that stuff on your hair anyway. It's supposed to be natural hair, but you add all the ingredients to it to make it unnatural. <sighs> no, I don't. It's for moisture. That's why I mostly use a lot of products for moisture. Not for to make my hair heavy. A nurse investigator. What's a nurse investigator? I talked to a lady yesterday. She's the Dominican. She, uh, uh, she a nurse. Uh huh. And I asked her how long she's been a nurse. She said for six years. Uh huh. And I asked her, did she like it? She said, uh, not really, but it pays the bills. Uh -huh. What she look? What she she do? Y'all, I wasn't here recording y'all a good video on a new camera, and the battery died. Like, they don't give you no juice with these cameras, but the quality is good. Y'all are going to be able to tell the difference. And the noise that you hear in the background, a little clicking noise, that's just the camera trying to focus. But it's a nice camera. I had looked at it at first, and I put the wrong SD um, adapter in there, so the quality was trash. I switched it out, put the right one in there. It looks awesome. So, I'm going to edit this video and I'll check you guys out in my next vlog. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me. 81, they'll bring the crashers to the party. And you know me. Turn the O2 into the O3. Without 40 Ollie, there be no me Imagine if I never met the broski